three guesses on what we're going to do today. We are going to the river. See you down there. Well, we're almost there. Y'all see them blinking lights down there? At the end of this road is the river. About every every year, every two, three years, somebody runs straight through this barricade into the river. So the last one well, the last one did is when they put that overhead blinky light, they thought that was gonna do something. <laughs> I don't think we've had one go through there since. It's not marked very well. And this is not a secret spot. This is a common boat ramp. A lot of people use it. It's changed hands a couple of times over the last few years. Hurricane Ivan that says cabins and all that. Hurricane Ivan took all that out. I think there's one cabin left down there. Now this is probably going to be a lengthy video. I got my trusty fishing buddy Chief Ken with me this morning. We make a trip like this and do this call it our striper fishing trip that's what we're at after stripers about once a year this time of year I always do pretty good except last year <laughs> last year started we caught some fish we didn't get skunk we just didn't catch what we wanted I better slow down before this old guy runs out here and yells at me again and I have to get ill with him lord is that a horse or a dog just ran across over there. Hmm. You're gonna be dealing with no dogs. It might have been a deer. They have moved no, all the people. That's a dog, it's a mastiff. They have moved all the people out. Look at there, cleaned up the ramp. Oh, they're cleaning it up now. That, that, been, that is Airedale. What, that dog? Yeah. That dude, that dude go running around the woods and somebody shoot that for a deer. I guess this changed hands again. Look, we can park over here now. How about that? This is Ken right here. Um, looking at this tree here, it's called a bay tree. We have a bunch of them here in Florida. Uh, people cook with them, use it just like bay leaves. Uh, I'm Cherokee, but 
I have some creek friends and they tell me that they actually take the leaf and they wear it with them um, kind of as a, a talisman or a, a way to ward off uh, bad things. They believe that it keeps away all the negative stuff. So it's something that a lot of people around here we have different uses for it. it it's plentiful. It's kind of good to see their neat little trees fast growing. We're waiting on Ricky right now. About to head out. You can see they're doing some work at the boat ramp here. Here comes the boss man. We're gonna go up the food chain today. He's got the crickets to start the process off. And we'll fish our way in getting smaller fish and bigger fish and use that for bait for the stripers. fish the creek and then we'll go main river okay
towing rope in this creek here. The current's gonna grab us right here. Okay. This is where Bigfoot lives too. He's real, he lives down here in these swamps. Got to be what, 50 degrees? At least. That wind, the sun's supposed to come out here in a couple hours. That's what the weather girl on town three says. And the weather girl never lies. She might fib a little bit, but she never lies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get on that tool tomorrow. As you can see, the creek or river is getting a little low. It's about two foot, some areas three foot below normal tide level. Why not? Well, we're already over here. If you can look, you can see a cypress knee right there. Cypress tree. Well, I'm gonna turn this off now because I gotta go out and fish the old man. Uh -huh. <laughs> if you had any doubts, <laughs> what we're doing is catching us some bait. That's a shell cracker. This is big enough to eat. We're gonna eat him. Catching us some live bait is in here. You can see that. Yep, he jumped for you. We we'll get us about half a dozen or so live baits, then we'll go after the big fish. Now, <laughs> look at that little cutie. You gotta be 12 inches to be legal, and he ain't. Bye. That was fun, though. <laughs> Bass on the cricket, how about that? Happens all the time. Now we were just talking about fishing, fishing for food. We was talking about our buddy bit up at the bait store. We're here, well we enjoy fishing, we like going, we like each other's company, but main thing is we're trying to catch food. I heard somebody say the other day they went to, they had fish, they had tilapia they got at Walmart. Well, y'all see me catch that tree right there? Now you get to watch me go over there and get it. thing about it is with the tilapia, they use those to clean out fish tanks of more pricey fish that they're selling like stripers. So you really don't know what in the world you're eating when you buy them from the store. This here is natural. 
They got clean water that they're living in. And they eat a varied diet, which makes them more healthy than what you can get from the store. And also, it's a way of life that's dying. We're going to have a generation pretty soon don't know anything about their heritage if we don't do something about it. Yeah, they won't know their heritage. They won't know how to get food. But I'm telling you folks, me and the wife was in, we were in Walmart buying dry goods yesterday, paper towels and that type of thing. Got to talking with a lady in there that was doing, doing the same thing we're doing. This is, I'm afraid this is going to be a bad year or a bad couple of years. Uh, that Walmart's not, it's going to be there, but it's going to be empty one day. I've said it before, me and Ken know what an empty Walmart looks like. Because when they say hurricanes coming this way, they'll empty them out here quick. Not just Walmart, convenience stores, everything, empty. <coughs> so that's why you got to know how to how to fish and how to hunt. And if it gets all that bad, there might you might have to do something that ain't exactly in the rule book to survive. There, caught me another tree. I'm not for that, but I like eating too. And later on, as the summer goes on, me and Ken will be back down here quite a bit. We're on the low end of the river now. Now I did it again. We're on the low end of the river now. We'll go up the river and we'll do some more videos on some wild edibles that we'll get from up here. I'm looking at some right now with those palmettos. Yeah. Well, you caught a root over there and I caught a tree over here. I think it's because I'm yapping too much. <laughs> you think? <laughs> I wasn't going to tell them that I caught a root. I was going to just let them see you catch trees. No, I didn't let you get away with that now. This little creek we're on here, we pulled in here to get out of the wind off the main river. This is called Voodoo Creek. Every time I come up here, something breaks down. Get one or two more little bait fish and we're going to head back to the big water anyway. So we just thought we'd mention that part about that we're, we're out here for food. Even though it's fun, we enjoy it. The main purpose is to catch something to eat. Like I said earlier, we're, we're working up the food chain. It's something that people don't do anymore. <coughs> They're fishing. We're using crickets, something used to be able to do what? um what? yeah got one right there old bull that's a good one that is a that is a bull right there red belly nah, that's a good eater right there yeah pumpkin seeds what we call them and we got the hook way down in the mouth When you do this type of fishing, you get a lot of bait, and then also you get food like that, where you know that'll be a good frying size there. Gives you a lot more variety. You bent my hook up. You get one too? No. Nope. Root fish. In the cooler he goes, bloody hands. Hook my jacket, that's the way to do it. Alright, let's get situated again here. 
this is a fine true bluegill. See him peeing? That means they're getting ready to start bedding. That's a good one right there. I just had to show that one, that's all. Right there. This one may be a keeper. We're gonna measure him and see. Come on a cricket. Got a cricket and a brim buster. I just put him here on the stick. He is absolutely a keeper. That's a nice fish right there. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, I think, in there. So we're doing okay. And we've got plenty of bait. Was there any doubt? After all my hunting videos where I <laughs> didn't bring nothing home. And we've only been fishing about what, two hours, maybe? Right. Two and a half hours. 